Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here on a absolutely beautiful Monday morning. 63 degrees, going up to 81. <clears throat> I actually had a jacket on this morning when I was smoking my pipe and drinking my morning coffee. It was, uh, I walked outside, I was like a little breeze. I was like, oh, it's chilly. It was the same yesterday, but it wasn't wasn't breezy, so. But I got a little cold too. I didn't have any shoes on yesterday. I was like, yeah, I need to put some slippers on or something because my feet are freezing. Which I love. I love cold, cold mornings, chillier mornings, I should say, not cold. But anywho, it's uh, yeah, August second already. So this morning I'm smoking my Peterson smoking pipes 20th anniversary edition pipe beautiful sandblast on that bad boy it's just amazing for a factory pipe it's really nice and in it today I am smoking Wessex Brown Virginia Flake. Which is a pretty, uh, pretty full flavored flake. Um, it's got a couple years of age on it. Hard to, uh, it's it's definitely you know obviously Brown Virginia darker. It's not there's no citrus. It's not um, you know it's not light. It's definitely like a there's no hay. It's like that deeper darker bready type of Virginia. pretty quick um, for it being like a navy cut the flakes aren't 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 terribly thin they're not thick either but <coughs> um, definitely lights and burns uh, pretty quick I've had this tin for a while. It's it's a it's a pretty good blend. I mean, it's definitely quality tobaccos. It's not something that I smoke smoke a lot of. Um, but it's pretty solid. Nothing really like unique that stands out about it. Some people say, and I'm not a good judge of this, that it's got a pretty strong nicotine content. I mean, obviously, being that I smoked uh, 1792 Dark Flake, and that doesn't really do anything to me. I, I'm not the best indicator. I've never smoked a pipe and been like, oh my God, the nicotine content. And I think that just comes from years of smoking, being a heavy, heavy cigarette smoker. But even, yeah, it's been a few years since I've since I've uh, smoked a cigarette, I don't know. Uh, I don't ever really get that. So I stockpiled. Uh, so Friday, I got a couple. Uh, I got a few tins of the uh, Royal Twist from McBaron, which I'm pretty intrigued about. It's uh, got Perique in there with the uh, Virginia. And the, I think it's a Virginia, Kentucky. Or it might be just a, if it's, know, if it's a Virginia, Kentucky, or Virginia Perique, Virginia Perique, Kentucky. One of them. <coughs> but uh, 
think it's the first roll cake that has, um, you know, that has uh, Perique in it. So, I picked up a few tins. I picked a few tins up from my buddy Ben. Um, and then actually, after I was talking to Miguel, my boy from the Virtual Pipe Club, um, I grabbed him, just ordered him a couple tins because, uh, you know, they're not available. The smoking pipes shipping to uh, Canada is pretty brutal. Um, and then we're going to do a little bit of a, I have some uh, some of those Valen number 14 that he was interested in as well. But um, I also made a, I just got an order uh, yesterday. I, I did a nice order from... Uh, Pipes and Cigars, they had, uh, Sutliff was on sale, so I got, I got a pound of, uh, another pound of 507C, I got another pound of the Newminster 400, um, I got another pound of HH Pure Virginia, and then I got 10 pouches of, uh, Amphora, so... It was funny, like, it was the same price, even though it was on sale, uh, from smoke, from Pipes and Cigars, the Amphora from, um, at Smoking Pipes was cheaper, it ended up being, like, the same price, basically, except Pipes and Cigars is right in Bethlehem, PA, so I get it really quick, so I stockpiled, I, I ended up, um, like I said, I, I had concert tickets that I bought, a year and a half ago that got canceled last year and it got rescheduled for this year fish show fish concert down in Atlantic City um, I bought two tickets for Friday and Saturday for me and my wife and then it ended up just not working out where um, you know hotel rooms I usually get comped they wanted like $800 a night I'm like I'm not paying that and then the babysitter is kind of an issue so it was 300 bucks of like found money that I I, I, you know, I got, I spent two years ago almost, or a year and a half ago, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna put that 300 bucks, and I bought, you know, it wasn't even 300 bucks worth of tobacco, but almost, um, it's like, you know, it's like 60 something bucks for each of the pounds, the, uh, 507C, I think, Dude, and Newminster, I'm telling you what, uh, my buddy Dan Seaman, who if you're on any of the any of the pipe pages, you know him. Um, he was saying the same thing, which you know, and, and I completely agree. If if that Newminster 400 was tinned, you know, people would make a big deal out of it, and it would be impossible to find. But because it's like a bulk blend, and it's you know two something an ounce, people overlook that blend. I'll tell you what, that blend is so good. I mean, it's like Virginia and graham cracker. It's like such a, a, a delicious smoke. It burns really well. It, uh, I can't get enough of that. So, I mean, I already had, you know, probably, uh, pounds of all that stuff, <clears throat> but I'm just trying to, you know, those are the four or five of my, my favorite Virginia blends. <clears throat> that I just stockpiled that, that I can get in bulk so anytime I can get it in bulk I wish they had M4 in bulk but the pouches are cheap enough that it's basically bulk so I stockpile that you know this way I can age a good amount of it and then still smoke some of it because you know it's basically on a daily basis I'm smoking those those like four or five blends you know Newminster like I had 507C this morning. I have that usually once a day, it seems. Pure Virginia, I smoke a lot of. And it's all just really high quality. Some of the best Virginias you can get, I think those are like three of the best Virginias you can get. And the best part is it's all bulk. You know, like I said, if that stuff was tinned, people would make a big deal out of it. All those blends, I feel like if they were tinned, it would, it would be like, oh, you know, they always sold out, but because it's a, it's a bulk blend, but that's fine with me. You know, I'm, I, I love the fact that 
most of my favorite blends are uh, are bulk. The only one that I that I wanted to get that that wasn't available was the Solani 633, which who knows, maybe from uh, from myself and others hyping it up, it's become unavailable. But I was able to find uh, a local pi or a fellow pipe smoker that um, I'm trading him. I actually have a bag of it now. I'm trading him the uh, Solani Silver of Lake. He likes this better. This has this is the Virginia Kentucky, Red Virginia Dark Bar Kentucky, uh, as opposed to the the Virginia Preak, which I I enjoy more. So I have three of those hundred gram tins. He's trading me. He's got five of the of the round tins, and then he's gonna throw in a couple some capstan gold, and then I have a dark fire or a uh, dark flake and uh, Kringle flake that he was interested in and uh, so we're gonna do a trade there so I'm getting some tins oh that's the other thing I got um, I got five five tins of capstan gold the square tins the flake and then I also got uh, I'd never had it before the uh, the ready rubbed version of the capstan um, yellow or gold which I it's you know what I like super easy it's already ready rubbed um so i think in the future i might uh i feel like the flake version will age better but the ready rub is definitely you know if you're cracking it and smoking it fresh it's definitely easier to deal with obviously but uh anyway so I hope you guys had a great weekend. I have a short week this week. I'm on vacation uh, Wednesday to Sunday. Um, we were originally going to go down the shore, but I think that that's changed. So we're doing, um, we're going to go to the zoo on Wednesday. <clears throat> um, me and my son, I think we might go to like one of the amusement parks around here. Uh, and then uh, I might take my other son to the Strasburg Railroad up in Lancaster, or Strasburg, so. But we'll see. My wife might go down the shore uh, for the weekend just by herself. I don't have anybody to watch the dogs, so. Um, and my in-laws won't, won't let us bring the dogs for some silly reason. Because they got new furniture. Like They act like the dogs are gonna um, damage the furniture. But whatever. So yeah, um, I don't know how many videos I'll be putting out. I'm also super excited. I, if all goes well and the Postal Service upholds its end of the bargain, I should be getting that amazing new pipe from uh, Ryan McCauley that I uh, commissioned last week. I can't wait. Wait do you guys see this pipe. I can't wait. Like I said, I combined two of my favorite pipes, my Costello Stack and my Costello Canadian, into like one pipe, and uh, if it's, it looks amazing in picture, so I can't wait. So anyway, um, at some point I think that you know I might shoot a video if I don't, even though I'm not working. My um, my my bowstrings uh, blew up yesterday, jacked my fingers up pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to have to go drop off my bow, I think, at some point, uh, to Lancaster Archery, which I wasn't planning on doing, but, you know, what worries me is that now that it's hunting season and everybody's kind of, like, you know, gearing up towards hunting season and everything's becoming harder to find and, and in higher demand, I wanted to get some, uh, some custom bow strings, but... They're like weeks out, and I don't really want to be without my bow for weeks. It sucks too. I was in the middle of a shoot. I was shooting great too. I was like four four targets in. I was shooting the lights out, and then uh, my my bow exploded on me, <laughs> which sucks. Lost my peep and all that good stuff. But that's the one uh, thing I've heard about those zebra strings that come on Matthew's bows is that they uh, they're prone to breaking anyway guys hope you guys have a great uh start to your day
start your week. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'm showing you and smoking my awesome new pipe. Wessex Brown Virginia Flake. It's a good flake. Uh, if you can get it, track it down. I think it might be hard to come by. Um, you know, a lot of Wessex stuff is, can be. But anyway, guys, you guys have a great day. Remember, the life lane is for passing. See you guys.